mahirap pala. Eh, okay, medyo underweight po talaga si Theodore. Last thing naman is follow the 15-minute rule. Mom! <laughs> Hi guys! Welcome again to another vlog. It's me, Mommy D. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please do not forget to like and subscribe. So today, I will be sharing with you guys my journey ng aking puppy na Chow Chow. So if you wanna know more kung paano ko na-achieve yung ideal weight ng aking Chow Chow in 3 months, please keep on watching. Okay, so bago ko muna i-share sa inyo yung aking naging journey, bibigyan ko muna kayo ng a little bit of backstory ni Theo. So si Theo, nakuha ko siya nung 3 months old siya. Siya talaga yung pinakamaliit dun sa letter na pinagbinahan ko. Nung hinawakan ko siya, talagang hindi ko na siya binitawan. So, ayun. When it comes to his weight and his appearances, parang inisip ko, with the proper care and love naman talaga, guided by professionals, I feel like I'm gonna be able to do it. Pero, little did I know. Ang hirap pala. Okay, mahirap. Marami po kami pinagdaanan. Pero hopefully, yun nga, matulungan ko kayo. Okay, so yun nga, that same week, dinala ko din siya doon sa vet niya para ma-update yung kanyang vaccinations. So, eto, papakita ko sa inyo. So, yeah. Ayun, so 2.5 kilograms and he was already September, October, November, December. 3 months na siya. Ito po yung ideal weight ng isang 3-month-old pup. So, basically, medyo underweight po talaga si Theodore. So, from then on, first first time pa lang siya nakita ng doctor, sinabi na sa akin ng doctor na to change his diet, which is make it three times a week, more frequent meals, tapos small portions. Aside from the fact na hindi naman siya picky eater, as in talagang malakas naman siya kumain, um, ayun nga, I just had to have a game plan on how I'm going to be able to achieve his ideal weight. So, ayun nga, came in January, ang weight na niya that time was 3.2 kilograms, wherein ang ideal weight is supposed to be 9 kilograms to 12 kilograms. So, talagang sinuryoso ko na talaga. So, ito. Here we go. Uh, let me share to you what I did. Um, ayun, so, so different kinds of breed. Ang gusto ko talaga munang i-start na i-share sa inyo is look for professionals. Look for trainers. Um, how will you do this? Um, punta kayo sa mga groups, ganyan. Join groups. Aside from your own research, magtanong talaga kayo kasi sila yung makakaalam kung ano yung specific or quality dog food. Talaga makakatulong para lumaki or ma-reach ma na yung ideal weight ng dog nyo. Okay, number one is, ayun, chinage ko talaga yung diet niya. So, what I mean by diet is, ayun, yung main source of energy and nutrients niya, which is his dog food. Yung bread care talaga yung pinaka-umo, kaya lumaki talaga si Theo. If you wanna know more of yung mga essentials na ginagamit ko talaga sa aking dog, I'll link it below. I already created a vlog for that. Um, mostly sinasabi sa akin ng mga trainers na tinatanong ko is um, yung mga dogs po kasi may tendency na madrol sila sa pagkain uh, medyo may strong scent. Pag puppy pa talaga, pag maliit pa is you wet the food para sumingaw siya. Tapos, ang napapansin ko sa mga talagang tinanong ko na mga trainer, even from using yung mga wet toppings o kaya yung mga nilalagyan mo ba ng ulam yung dog food para Kasi ang tendency is, mas nagiging picky eater yung aso mo. Um, parang, okay, since ayaw ko yung ulam today, hindi ko siya kakainin. So, ikaw naman si palit. So, ang tendency is, mas lalo, kang, mas lalo niyang hindi na kukuha yung calories na kailangan niya for that day. Okay, so aside from changing their diet, what you can also do is put something na would entice them to eat or yung mga pangpagana. So, the first thing that I would like to share to you is this one, itong Zesty Paws Wild Alaskan Samo Oil. And ito na share ko na rin to dun sa essential. So, loose siya para talagang nagiging sabaw siya ish nung iyong dog food. Ito, malangsa talaga to. Tapos parang, ewan ko for some reason, mas ginaganahan si Theo kumain. So, ito. At ito, it, especially for double-coated dogs, this really helps 
his hair grow faster. So, ito. Ito yun. Ayun. Tsaka, isa pa, nas essentials ko din to, yung Mr. Show Dog talaga na powder na nilalagay ko talaga. Nakaka-help talaga yun para gumana talaga siyang kumain for some reason. Okay, so another pampagana na trick na ginagamit ko na shinare din sa akin is plain yogurt. So, pag halimbawa, yun nga, may generate mood siya. Hindi yun pakain sa kanya. Parang a spoonful. O kaya lagay mo sa likmat before meal. Uh, mas gumagana talaga siya kumain. Or pwede din ihado mo mismo dun sa kanyang dog food. Okay, next naman is usapang treats. Ito. Um, siguro kasi pag puppy, alam mo yun, parang feeling mo kapag hindi siya kumain, kailangan siyang, uy, sige, bigyan na lang natin ng treats para may laman yung chan. Okay, kailangan na po natin harapin ang katotohanan na ang ating mga aso ay hindi po yan mga babies or hindi po yan mga toddlers na um, alam niyo po yun na kaya mo siyang, pwede mo siyang bigyan ng kahit anytime ng treat. So, if your dog is underweight, you prevent for giving them uh, treats all the time, especially yung mga table food po talaga. Kasi yun yung that's very bad for their digestion, that's very bad for their liver. Kasi meron pong mga preservatives mostly yung mga niluluto talaga natin uh, na pang tao. So yun, iiwasan po talaga natin yun. So in short, you stick to your diet. Okay, next naman is practice fasting. So ano ba yung fasting? So una sa lahat is stop changing their diet. Alam mo yun? Uh, fasting naman is you follow the 15-minute rule. Okay, so how does that work? So, for example, it's feeding time. Nabawa, ang feeding time mo is 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. in the evening. So, set, stick to your schedule po. So, you put down your, your, your meal. For example, kung one cup siya per meal. So, baba mo yun. Within 15 minutes, kapag hindi kinain ng aso mo, tanggalin mo siya. So, skip the skip that meal. Tututunan ng aso mo na kapag nilapag mo na yung food at hindi niya kinain during a certain time, magugutom siya. So, masagiging firm ka sa nagiging rules mo with, when it comes to his feeding time. And dogs love that. Gusto ko emphasize yung word na love that kasi they like structure. Kaya, di ba, talagang they live as packs. So as the alpha or ikaw as your as his leader, he loves loves having a certain thing to follow. Siguro diyan most of the time kapag nagskip ka ng meal, the next meal you try it, ayon yung parin kumain. Fifteen minute rule, you remove it and then by the next day you try it again. So wag mo na mong like one week na, de ba? Hindi mo parin para kasi kaya fifteen minute rule daw hala talas po mayat naman yung aso mo hindi ganon. So within forty eight hours. Yun yung usual fasting time ng mga aso. Pag hindi pa rin siya kumakain, it's about time na dalhin mo na talaga siya sa hospital or sa vet. Okay, next is identify the stressors in your habits or in your schedule. So, ayun nga, as what, as what I've said a while ago, um, yun nga, yung when it comes to fasting and their diet. So, I've learned po sa isang trainer na nakausap ko na, or nakita ko na rin sa comments niya before sa group na, a healthy dog will never starve themselves. So, they can fast, but they will not starve themselves. So, if there is something wrong with your dog, definitely, it's their way of telling you na, I'm not feeling well. So, it's better really to uh, have them check sa kanilang uh, vets. And aside from that, guys, wag na tayong palit ng palit ng dog food o kaya, yun, mag experiment ka pa na yung iba, since hindi nga kumakain, lalagyan niya ng kanin, lalagyan na ng ula. Ang tendency kasi sa ganyan, pag sinaspoil mo yung aso mo, mas nagiging picky eater. Masalo siyang hindi nakakakain. So, ayun, just stick to a certain uh, schedule. Ayan, next naman na tip is exercise. Like dogs, when they have enough exercise, uh, mas kinakailangan ng katawan nila ng food. So, when it comes to puppies, hindi naman kailangan like exercise like tumakbo sila, pero much more of like exercise na walking, morning and afternoon. Basta practice uh, before meals talaga. So, kay Theo, what we do is um, exercise, rest, and then meal time. So, importante kasi yung rest in between. Kasi yung iba, bawa, sige, winok na nila ng morning. Tapos pagdating, painumin ng tubig. Tapos pinipilit agad nilang kumain. So, ganun yun. Ang mga aso kasi, usually, um, talagang 
may rendering period yan. So, ako talaga ang nag-best nag-work sa akin na routine is exercise, give them rest. When I say rest, 30 to 1 hour. And then, then you feed their meals. So, next time, I'll share to you yung crate training na ginagawa ko kay Tio. Okay, so pwede nyo rin to i-try. Kasi, ewan ko kung maarte yung dog nyo. Pero, try nyo rin silang pakainin sa a little bit colder na area. Yung medyo less distraction. Alam mo yun? Kasi, minsan, masalo na pag nasa household ka na may mga bata or maraming ingay or... Alam mo yun, minsan parang nadidistract sila. So, try nyo rin yung lagibigyan nyo talaga sila ng certain spot in the house na dun lang siya kakain. So, um, ayun nga, again, building a certain routine sa aso mo. So, pag dun na, dun na yun. Tapos, make sure na yun nga, habang kumakain siya, hindi siya tinatawag or hindi siya, alam mo yun, pinapakailaman ng ibang bagay. Ito, maraming, maraming na-overlook tong area na to. So, especially pag bumibili ka ng dog food na parang tingi-tingi. Um, although, pag bumibili ka naman ng nakapak na, I think this is also very important. Kung ano ba yung factor, bakit nagiging picky eater yung aso mo or hindi niya inubos yung dog food niya. So, tingnan mo rin talaga yung label. Ito, malaking factor to. Kasi napansin ko to, before I was buying pre-pack ng dog food niya, yung bread care, um, ayaw niya yung pre-pack. So, in my head, parang parehas lang naman, di ba? Pero hindi pala. As in, most likely since we don't know kung ilang ilang months na yon or hindi natin alam yung shelf life nung kung kailan binuksan yon So, tingnan nyo rin talaga expiration date ng mga dog food nyo kung kung okay pa. Kasi syempre, di ba, tayo rin ayaw naman natin ang mga sirang pagkain. So, the fresher it is, the better it is. Ito, try nyo rin to yung ano, height ng kanilang food. Minsan, eto, naging effective din sa akin to kay Theo. Nagtataka ako, bakit parang ayaw niya yung yung sobrang baba. So, I had to elevate it. Parang bumi kumuha ko ng maliit na stool. Tapos, pinatong ko yun doon. Tapos, yun, dun dun na siya mas komportable ba sa kanya. Pag, halimbawa, yun, kumakain ng start na siya kumain, ganyan. Don't forget to praise them. Alam mo yun? Don't forget to praise them na, good boy, good girl. O kaya, right after pag daubos nila yung bagay, pakita yun sa kanila na sobrang sayang-saya nyo. On the other hand naman, kapag hindi naman niya kinakain yung, yung kanyang pagkain, make sure na wag mo naman siyang magalitan. Sa totoo lang, marami akong nakikita ng mga videos na grabe naman. Talaga kung makapagalit naman. Parang guys, hindi naman niyo po talaga naiintindihan yung words. Iintindihan nung dog doon yung yung emotion mo, yung energy na pinoproject mo sa kanya. So, malaking factor din yun, guys. Baka kasi, iniisip nyo, ah, pag nagalit ako, kakain siya. It doesn't necessarily follow. Kasi baka, during mealtime, lagi kang galit dun sa aso mo, na-associate na niya yung feeding time to something negative. So, ayun, may last tip lang naman is be able to make feeding time fun. Ayan, so Theodore right now is 7 months and right now, he's already 18 kilos! Yay! So, we reached na talaga yung parang ideal weight for his breed. So, hopefully talaga, um, hindi na siya maging mas maarte pa at life. Talagang mga chow-chow owners na sinasabi, maarte talaga yung chow-chow. So, in short, again, wag nyo silang i-baby. Okay? Iba talaga yung aso, iba yung baby. There you have it guys. Thank you again for watching. Again, if may ambag to sa inyong life, please do not forget to like and subscribe um, and share it on your social media platforms. Ayan. Thank you again for watching. Bye! Bye!